Okay, um, before we go any further, let's also quickly install Redux DevTools. And the good news is that as far as the code, we don't need to add any configuration. Basically, the moment we install Redux Toolkit, we're good to go. However, when it comes to browser, we do need to install extra extension. And the extension you're looking for is this one, Redux DevTools. And in the Chrome, if you want to install extension, just go to your extensions. And then more specifically, look for open Chrome Web Store. And then in here, look for the Redux one, not the Redux 4k, apologies, Redux. So this is the extension you're looking for. And once you do that, let me open this up in the big browser. So that's my localhost 3000. You'll notice a tab, a Redux tab. And in here we'll be able to find a bunch of useful info. Now at the moment, I mean, we have a clean application, we only have the state, but yes, eventually, once we set up the reducers, the actions and all that, yes, this is going to be a very useful tool. Now, at the moment, the only thing that I want to showcase is that this is our state. Notice that's my cart, cart items amount total and is loading and yes, of course, in our store, once we add more reducers, all of them will meet over here. And that's why this tool is very useful. Because as we'll dispatch our actions, we'll clearly see how our state changes. 